everyone, welcome back to a beautiful Iowa day. I'm actually here in my barn right now. I hate to be the one to say it, but winter is on its way. And I have been trying really hard to use my time wisely on getting things prepared for winter while it's nice outside rather than waiting till it's cold and then having to go outside in the cold and do the dreaded tasks that I have to do. Today I'm hoping to get two sections of our barn cleaned. Here, let me show you the barn real quick. This right here is our little barn. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for the crickets. They're pretty loud in here, but there's four sections to our barn. This is the first area, which is just where I keep all my gardening stuff. And then we have this area over here and there's two little more rooms that are right back here. Cleaning the barn is one of the tasks that I've been kind of pushing off and not really wanting to do, but I know deep down once it's done, I'm gonna feel really glad that it is done. My goal for today is to clean my gardening area and put away any gardening things that I'm done with for the season. And then I'm gonna clean this little section that's right next to it. My personal goal is to be done in less than two hours. It's 1.30 right now, so hopefully my goal is to be done by 3.30 because I'm really looking forward to going inside and taking an Epsom salt bath. We have our little barn helper today, Miss Ollie. She is just chilling over here relaxing. We got a bunch of rain last night and this morning, so I'm just curious to see how much rain we got. Here in Iowa, we have been lacking rain pretty bad this summer. Jay just put up this fancy rain gauge here on my garden post. <gasps> I'm getting attacked. And it looks like we got over an inch and a half of rain. And I keep getting attacked by bugs. If you're anything like me, you cannot stand the sound of crickets in a confined area. And right now, my barn is loaded with them. So I would like to thank Sunday for sponsoring today's video. If you follow me on Instagram, which on my Instagram, I usually post a lot of extra content throughout the week of diff different things we're doing. I've posted about the ants that we had in our house. We had carpenter ants at one point, which if you know anything about carpenter ants, they're not good for like the structure of your house. I had a cricket in my light fixture while I was trying to sleep the other night. I got the Sunday Pest Prevention Plan, which Sunday has an awesome customizable pest and prevention plan for your home and your lawn. On the back of the label, all things that you can clearly read, understand what they are, it's a lot of essential oils and natural based products. You don't have to worry about our cat. She's not inside, but Obviously, I'm gonna spray my garage as well. All you have to do is start a free analysis and confirm which pests you struggle with the most at home or on your property. Based on the results, they'll send you the best products to tackle the pests you have at home to prevent future issues. Sunday's Perimeter Powerhouse is made up of two products, an outdoor barrier treatment and an indoor spot treatment. One thing I would like to say is you should never have to sacrifice your health for a product. So you should never settle on something that you're not comfortable with putting in your home or something that could have long-term effects on you. This I feel 100% safe putting here in any of my areas around my home, in my home, and I think that is something important that you should look for in a company. If you are interested in the Sunday Pest Plan, click the link down in my description, take the free analysis, and then get $10 off your first pest control plan. Before I start cleaning, I thought I'd give you guys a little update on what we even want to do with this barn. My dream for this spring is to get chickens. What we're trying to do the rest of the summer and this fall is to get the barn fixed up. So when it is time to get chicks and chickens, everything is sealed up and ready to go. Up here we have these windows and they're actually just made of plexiglass and about every other window is broken out. So the plan is to replace all the windows that have broken out and then if you can see there's a bunch of cracks that lead outside from a board falling off. So we need to go through and just reseal up all these holes. We're gonna get a new barn door put in here. I'll obviously get all of this cleaned up and then it looks like there's already a little chicken hole right here. So the plan is just kind of redo that and make it so we can put a door on that. And then out here, you can obviously see the broken windows a lot better. So there's quite a few of them. And the plan is just to put new plexiglass up there.
super bummed because I broke my camera. This is the second time that I have broken a camera lens in the last couple months. I was pulling the cords that were on the ground out the end of the cord, grabbed my camera and knocked it over straight on the lens. So now my lens won't autofocus. Decided to take a quick break to love on the little baby. Okay, girl. You relax over there. I tell you what though, it is starting to be more cool outside than it is in the barn. So I'm glad that I'm done in here, other than Jay helping me move the kayaks later. It's done, it feels so much better. Upon entering the barn, I got rid of the door that was right here. We just have no use for it. So it was time just to let it go and I cleared out this whole area. In this tote, we just have like some floaties and then our volleyball net over here. Obviously I have my entire gardening area in this trunk. I just keep my milk jugs for when we get a frost. And then eventually the kayaks, I would like to build some sort of a stand out of PVC pipes to put our kayaks on over here in this corner. That way we don't have to get them out of the green bin every year and they could just be kept right there. And there was a beetle in my hair and then over on the side i just keep my little wagon because it's pretty out of the way over there this side is kind of a work in progress so i got this area cleaned especially because the windows are, aren't fixed right now water just pools up down here i moved our snow tires over here all my garage sale stuff's over here which is what's in here as well this is my hangers for our garage sales and then we have some snow fence over here which we've never used but in the case that we need them we keep them for now i just put my bunts and burners over here just so they stay out of the rain and eventually i'll find a different spot for them but for now that's where i'm going to put them you guys hear that those are the wind turbines and they're so loud and they sound like creepy aliens but anyway i made it over to my brother's house he said to just drop off all of my junk with his junk pile because he has a bunch of junk people coming to pick up all of the junk at his house later this week. So perfect timing on my part to get this stuff over here. So I'm gonna empty it. There we go. The junk has been delivered. And I don't even feel bad for doing this because they have all of this junk to go. I've been picking out in my garden about every three days. This weekend, we're hoping to make salsa. So I've been collecting all my tomatoes in a box as they're ripe. I picked my biggest tomato today. I've been waiting to pick it and it was finally time. And I gotta show you how big it is. Here's my big box of tomatoes. Just been filling her up and it's filling away. I'm gonna have to start a new bag of cherry tomatoes soon. In my opinion, salsa, spaghetti sauce, that kind of stuff tastes best when you mix varieties of tomatoes. Here is my big guy. He's a little green yet, but he's starting to feel kind of squishy. So I'll just let him ripen over there in the box. 3.1 pounds. It's a big boy. Check out this sexy man. Gonna do some yard work. He can't even hear me. Ooh. What'd you say to me? I see what you did there. We're gonna show Jay the barn real quick. It's improved. It's getting there. Jay's home from school, work, cross country, all the things. Now he's gonna mow our lawn. I'm gonna put away some stuff that just needs to be put away. I'm gonna call it a night, shower, eventually make some supper. Yeah, what, we, what should we eat for supper? I think we'll have um, stuffed peppers tonight. Cause I've had the stuff laid out for like two nights. Sounds good. Oh. See ya. Oh. He's so silly. He always rides his bike over to his parents' house and gets a lot more, comes back. I mean, that's not silly, but it's just cute watching him go off on his bike. So the last thing I have to do, I have this tote thing of clothes. So originally I had them in a container down here in the barn. 
They were from my garage sale and I was gonna bring them to a consignment store, but I had decided to veto the consignment, consignment store. I'm actually gonna bring them to our local school. They have a clothing closet for high school and junior high students. And so I'm gonna wash all this stuff up and then I'm gonna bring it to the school sometime next week. But with that being said, this is for real, the end of the video. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.